Hi, this is Steven Johnson with Olive Tree Bible Software. Today I'd like to give you a tutorial of how to use the new split screen feature with the iPhone Bible Reader. <clears throat> the first thing you'll notice, this is this works with the 4.06 update. You'll notice in the bottom there's a new button down here. This is how you activate the split screen. You simply just grab a hold of it, drag it up, and bring the screen to wherever you want. So now you have two screens here. You can bring this all the way to the top. And you've got, you know, your second window is now full screen. You can also Oops, excellent. Clicked on the verse button there. Drag it all the way down to the bottom, and there your first window is back to full screen. So one concept I do want to talk about is your active window. When you split the screen, you can select either of the two screens to be the active window. So you can see if I click down here, you'll see that the uh, title changes to the BHS. That's what I'm displaying down below. If you click up at the top, it changes back to the ESV. Whichever window is your active window, that's where all the different operations act on. So let's say I select the second window down here, I go to the library, I open up the ESV Study Bible, and it'll open in the second window. If I click on the first window, click on library, let's open the NIV, it opens up in the top window. Also, if I do things like adding a bookmark, um, using the verse chooser, etc., doing a search, that'll all happen on whatever the active window is. One thing, Another thing with the split screens is that the two windows will stay in sync based on verse if they're both versified material. So you'll see here, if I scroll the ESV, when it gets done scrolling, we're at verse 27. The ESV Study Bible Notes stay up to date with whatever verse I'm on. So now, I can go ahead and put the ESV Study Bible Notes down here. I can be reading through Genesis 3.6. I want to see what the ESV Study Bible has to say about it. I can just pull it up. One kind of convenience feature that we've added, you can go into the settings, scroll down here, to your split window settings. If you look down here at one tap split window, you can turn this on. And this lets you click on this button to basically bring the split window all the way up or down. So if I click on it now, it brings it up. If I click on it there, it brings it down. So once again, let's say I'm reading through. Here we go, I'm at Genesis 4.16. I want to see what the ESV Study Bible Notes say on it. I just click on that button. There we go. There's what the ESV Study Bible Notes has to say on it. When I'm done, I can just push it back down. Also, if you decide that you don't want to have the two windows sync together, you can come to the Sync Split Windows um, setting and choose to turn it off. So now if I have the two windows open, you can see here if I scroll along, the two windows are not syncing with each other anymore. Go back and turn that on again. We also have a setting for where the split window slider goes. Um, some people have cases on their iPhones or iPod Touches, which makes it hard to get at the uh, button on the right side, so you can choose to put it in the middle. You can also choose to turn it off here if you don't want it on. So now you can see you've got the split window slider. It's now in the middle. And uh, you can also choose to put it over here on the left side. For the rest of the demonstration, though, I'd like to just put it back where, oops, wrong setting put it back on the right. Um, you can also rotate your iPhone and when you do that the split window will now go left to right. Once again the two will stay in sync and you can pull it over your one your one tap will actually pull it left to right. You can see it goes back and forth that way. Um, so you can choose so if you do it on landscape or portrait both of them will work and you can either see it left or side by side or top to bottom. Um, so that concludes just a tutorial of the split screen settings. Thank you.